Meow Meow presents. Once, Kitty watched a heap of YouTube videos about the cars driving in the mud and thought, "So what? I can do it too." There's a field around here, and it's really muddy there. I'll go there. He decided. It rained last night, so there should be some good mud. Kitty came to the car, got inside, fastened his belt, and started off. Here's the field! Hooray! I'll show you what I can do, thought Kitty, and pressed the gas pedal. The engine roared, the back wheels started spinning, but the car just drove a little and stopped. Kitty tried to go back, tried to go forward. But all in vain, the car got stuck. How's that? What do I do? How shall I get out? Kitty thought. I know. I'll call my friend Piggy. He'll come and pull me out. Piggy, help me! I got stuck in the field. I'm coming, Piggy said. Here he is. Piggy has to get closer to Kitty to hook the tow rope. Piggy is carefully approaching, approaching, and oh no! It looks like he got stuck too. Now Kitty's not the only one who's stuck in the field, and he won't be sad alone. But we need to do something. We can't just sit here forever. I've got it, Kitty said. Let's call our friend Puppy. He has a real off-roader, and he'll be able to get us out. Hi, it's Kitty. Piggy and I got stuck in the dirt in the field. Could you come and get us out? Of course I can, Puppy said. We'll be there soon. Puppy's here! Hooray! He's moving back. He's driving up to Piggy's car. It's going well so far. Hooking the tow rope. Starting to pull. It's not so easy to pull Piggy's car that's stuck in the mud. And one, and two, and back and forward and back and forward. It seems like the off-roader's wheels are buried in the mud too, and he can't get out. Oh no! Three cars stuck in the field. What do we do? It's not clear. And then Puppy says, "Let's call out for Blue Tractor's help. He's very strong, and he'll certainly help us." And the friends called Blue Tractor. Blue tractor, hi! Kitty said. We all got stuck in the mud in the field. Hurry up! Don't worry, Kitty. On my way. Blue tractor answered. Hooray! Tractor is here. First, we'll pull out Puppy. Tractor comes closer. Hooks on the tow rope. And starts pulling his car out of the mud carefully. Done. Now it's Piggy's turn. Hooking the tow rope. Let's go. The cable is stretching. And done. Piggy, you're safe now. Now it's Kitty's turn. Kitty's car starts moving slowly. I did it! Thank you, Blue Tractor. What would we do without you? Okay, I gotta go. Gotta take milk to the store. Tractor said. Be careful. Bye, Kitty. I'm going home," Piggy said and left. "I gotta go too," Puppy said. 
and left two. Is it real that I will never be able to drive in the mud like those cars in the videos I watched? I've got it! I'll go to Max's garage so that he can upgrade my car! Hi, Max! You can't imagine what happened today! You won't believe it! And Kitty told Max how we went to drive in the mud, how he got stuck, how he called Piggy, and then Puppy, and how all three of them got stuck there. And how Blue Tractor came and saved them all. Max listened to Kitty, laughed, and said, Yeah, you did the right thing to call Blue Tractor. But don't you worry. We're going to make it so that your car can drive in the mud and won't get stuck. Hooray, said Kitty. We are downloading special software. First, we need to lift the car. We have a special elevator in the garage for this. Here we go. Now we remove the old small wheels. They're not good for driving in the mud. One, two, three, four, done. You'll have new huge wheels like those on Blue Tractor. But first, we need to install a special frame. Look, let's weld it to the car body. Done, the frame is in place. Now we put on new tractor wheels. One, two, Three, four, bringing the car down. Done. What do you think, Kitty? Do you like it? Of course. I like it a lot, Kitty said. And drove away. Here's the field we all got stuck in. Let's see what's gonna happen. Kitty presses the gas pedal and the car steadily gets underway. This time, the huge wheels are easily driving in the mud. There's a big puddle there. We've got to go there. The next moment, Kitty's car runs into a huge muddy puddle at full speed. Eee! Ah! I made it. Now that heap. Kitty's car gets to that heap fast, pushes off with all wheels, flies through the air, and flops down in the wet mud. Yoo-hoo! Kitty, it's getting dark. It's time to go home. Yeah, I know. Just one more lap, said Kitty, and drove away.